Hey everybody, this is uh, Charlie the Pennsylvania Grain Farmer coming to you from uh, sunny western Pennsylvania. Today is Friday, June the 10th and uh, my task for today is to spread uh, urea on my 46 acres of corn that I have planted. Uh, the corn's getting up into that, uh, you know, roughly the five leaf stage in most cases, some are a little bit more and so uh, it's time to do that job. Um, the, the urea is very important, or at least what I've found for the corn, because uh, and it really needs a lot of nitrogen. By the time it gets to the stage where it is, which is about five leaves, uh, it's used about uh, already 10% of the nitrogen that it's gonna need for the year. However, uh, this stage from, you know, five or six leaves up until uh, tasseling and silking, um, is whenever it has its most rapid growth period and where it needs nitrogen the most. And if you don't supply it with that nitrogen, it'll really hurt the yield. Now, uh, growing up, that was something that uh, we never did here on the farm. And actually last year was the first year that I ever did it and uh, you know, applied uh, urea or nitrogen uh, post-emergence and it really did seem to make a difference. So this is something that uh, I intend to do even though it's uh, expensive. You know, the corn prices are up and hopefully that's going to help uh, uh, help make up for that. Uh, there are a number of different ways that you can put uh, nitrogen on and there are different forms of it. Uh, some people put it on in a liquid form. They might, um, you know, like anhydrous, they might uh, dribble it out of a sprayer in between the rows so as not to get it directly on the plants and, you know, burn them. Or some people have a... Uh, a uh, piece of equipment that as they say knifes it in it has openers and the uh, uh the liquid uh, fertilizer is injected into the ground some do like my friend uh, cousin uh, scotty down in uh, north carolina from scott's small farm and things um where he has a machine that you know, almost looks like a corn planter and he goes over the field a couple times after or cultivator he goes over the field a couple times after the corn is up and uh, injects some extra fertilizer then uh the route route that i'm taking is to use my spinner spreader which was the same device that i used to uh you know spread fertilizer on my oats and um uh, soybean ground and also to, to plant my oats Okay, so I'm going to be using my spinner spreader as well as uh, this is the uh, uh, 1550 tractor that my friend Dan brought up and uh, left here for me to use uh, because he wants it to run. This is the most uh, uh, convenient and efficient and cost effective way for, uh, for me to do it. The urea itself is uh, white and granular unlike... Uh, the normal fertilizer, that, the starter fertilizer that I put on my uh, corn, which is triple 19, which has a variety of different colors in it. Uh, this particular urea that I use is made by Farm Grow. I, I buy it from my gr local Growmark uh, dealer, and uh, the analysis is 4600. So really it's just uh, putting nitrogen into the soil and uh you know not a whole lot of anything else that you typically get out of fertilizers but nitrogen um really is the main need right now okay so i'm gonna get this thing started up and uh, get out to the field and we'll capture some video of this uh urea going on the corn crop I just wanted to show you that this is uh, what my corn is looking like right now. This is a typical field. Uh, it is uh, about in the five leaf stage. So uh, it is time to put this uh, urea on. Uh, something I forgot to mention earlier is that I put the urea on at a rate of about 100 pounds an acre. Now you can do more certainly, but you know, I'm trying to balance, um, you know, the cost of it versus uh what the results going to be because it is expensive it's this year it's about a about it cost me about a thousand dollars a ton and uh, i'm going to need a couple tons to do the uh 
to do my corn even at just a uh, hundred pounds an acre but even that much will uh, make a difference uh, one of the reasons I'm timing it the way I am that I'm doing it today is because when you put this solid uh, granular urea on you really need to have rain afterwards for a couple reasons uh, number one if uh, those granules get get lodged down into the corn plant it's possible they can cause uh, a little bit of damage usually it's not bad but uh, there could be a little and secondly when the urea is on the ground it tends to be volatile it'll actually tend to uh, the nitrogen will tend to evaporate so it's always good to have a rain uh, shortly after you put this urea on so it starts to dissolve those granules and get them down into the ground uh, where they can uh, begin to work. Uh, they say that if you don't have uh, rain within 10 days of putting this on that you can probably lose at least 30 percent of the you know nitrogen due to it uh, uh, evaporating into the air. Okay, so uh, we're supposed to actually have rain tonight and maybe a little bit tomorrow and some on Sunday. So I thought, well, you know, the, uh, the chances are good that we're going to get it. So I figured this was a, uh, an opportune time to, to put this urea on.
we're back at the red shed and the uh, uh, urea has all been applied to the corn acreage. So that's another job uh, done for the year and I can get this uh, uh, cone spreader here cleaned up and oiled up and put away and be ready for use next year. Uh, it took me a whole day to put the urea on. Um, again, because you know I, I get it in bags rather than bulk because um, I don't have a way to handle the bulk. But it's worth it. It was worth the, the time and the money spent. And uh, we are supposed to get rain within the next day or so. So that'll be a good thing to help get some of that uh, dissolved off the surface and, you know, washed down in the ground where it can start working. So uh, I guess you could say I did my part this year on the corn. Uh, that's pretty much all I can do. I mean, I did the tillage spread the fertilizer, did the planting, did the spraying, uh, put the urea on, and uh, I guess you could say from this point on, uh, it's all up to God to give us the, uh, you know, the, the sunshine and the warmth and the rain and uh, everything that the, uh, the corn plants are going to need to flourish. All right, so uh, that's it for this video. Uh, I hope that you enjoyed it. Uh, I hope that you've subscribed. If you haven't, I hope that you'll uh, consider subscribing. And so for now, this is Charlie, the Pennsylvania grain farmer, saying see you next time.